thing. Let's read it together. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Let's say it. Let's read it again one more time together. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. I'll say something to you to friend today because you're here a little lost. Your name is not in that book. Right now, your name's not in that book. You are lost. You're not going to be lost. You're lost now. Right now. And you've only got seconds. You've only, you don't know you've got another 30 minutes in this world to live. That could be a blood clot flowing through your veins. Listen, this week I met a, a man went to St. John's Hospital with a blood deal in the back of his brain, beginning to have serious headaches. My wife's grandmother was holding her uncle as a small child driving down the road and just leaned over against the window and died because of an aneurysm in her head. You don't have a promise of tomorrow. You're lost now. You're not going to be lost. You're lost now. Your name is not in that book. Jesus, thank you, Lord. And if your name's not in that book, you're headed to the lake of fire. Jesus. I'm saying this in Matthew chapter 25. Jesus said, These shall go away into everlasting punishment. Not temporary. Not like the seventh day I've been to say that you just burn up like a cigarette and that's it. No. Jesus said everlasting punishment. These words forever and forever are the most horrible, terror-filled words I know of in the Bible. They're, they're more terror-filled than the word hell itself. Because you see, if hell in the lake of fire was just temporary, then somehow or another it would seem that we might be able to endure it. But when you look at that thing and understand that he says they're cast there forever and forever, that there's never any escape from this place. That absolutely makes my spine tingle. It makes my soul theorize to me all oh, that we serve a holy, righteous God who in no wise through the guilty. A God who is so righteous that He requires perfect righteousness, but has provided that perfect righteousness. In His Son, 